And moving into our top five, we've got a full lineup here of fantastic information. We kick it off here with Gary Gensler, who came out and said that all ICOs are securities. What's all that about? Well, it's actually related to our main topic, which we're gonna get, be getting into later today, but he came out in reaffirmation that he believes and his uh, regulatory agency that they believe all ICOs are indeed securities and therefore must follow securities laws. And his agency, as well as previously before uh, Gary Gensler even joined, was very, very active in pursuing ICOs that may have violated securities law. So all of this tells us is that the SEC very much so believes that ICOs are still under their purview and that many, if not most or all, are still currently violating securities laws. And moving into number two, we had T0 and Exodus. So T0 is onboarding investors onto their platform for Exodus, which is a cryptocurrency wallet. They did a security token offering through a Reg A plus deal. They raised 75 million, not only the first security token to use Reg A plus, but the first Reg A plus deal to even hit that new $75 million cap. So this is really exciting. They're doing a fully fledged security token, selling tokenized equity in their business to thousands and thousands of investors. T0 is going to be their first of rumored many potential exchanges that will list this, exchange, this, this token, and more on that is coming later in my segment. It's super exciting. Exodus is one of the largest crypto wallets uh, in the world, and now they've merged in security token technology, and I would say bridging the two worlds, which is extremely exciting. Number three, maybe quite the opposite, where we've got XRP in a heck of a lawsuit with the SEC for potentially, again, violating securities laws. Uh, in this case, we consider this the legal trial of the year because of the potential ramifications for the crypto industry as a result of the case. In this case, we have an update actually where the, the court has granted this time Ripple executives approval to bring in documents from Binance actually to prove that they have made sales internationally of XRP, not on any local jurisdiction or exchanges, I should say, in the United States. Yeah, here they tried to make the argument, or they're trying to make the argument, that if the sales occurred on an international platform to international investors, then it would not be subject to U.S. securities laws. But considering the company may be based in the U.S. and the people are based in the U.S., the SEC may disagree. Only time will tell. Might be a little tricky. Anyway, number four, Aspen Digital has officially announced a full $8.8 .8 million financing round, including led by Rothschild uh, Fund, the RIT Capital. That's a major, major validation. That's a, one of the oldest family offices in history that's now joining in on the Aspen Digital train. And they have full expectations to expand across Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, including, uh, of course, their Aspen offering, which is underneath their portfolio. So this does leave a little bit of a question of, you know, how involved is this with elevated returns and, and what's going on here. But overall, it's fantastic news for the industry because here we have yet another security token company raising money. And to close out our top five, we end with Binance, who's back in the news, but now they've announced that they're going to be closing services for European clients, specifically Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands. They will not be able to do futures contracts or trade cryptocurrency at all in 90 days. They've got 90 days to close all of those open positions and to remove your assets from Binance. They are shutting it all down. Just last week, we announced that they are planning to go from startup to financial institutions. So clearly this is one of those moves to help make that happen. Let's see how it all plays out. And this is a really big deal. Binance has done 1.7 trillion in derivatives volume over the month of June. They've done 16 billion in 24 hour trading volume. They're number one in the world. So this is a huge deal for crypto exchanges. We'll have to see how it plays out. And that rounds out our top five. So let's get over to the rest of the industry news.